Hi, my name is Dave Brenner. I'm a solutions engineer for Synergist Technologies. And today, I'd like to review how we can enter our title block information utilizing an iLogic form. Um, in preparation, what we would like to do is uh, go to our uh, drawing sheet. And this is just a standard drawing sheet. Uh, I'm going to go to my iProperties. And under the custom tab, you'll see that I already have a number of custom uh, properties already entered. And uh, you'll see from the title block information that I have my drawing number and drawing title already uh, incorporated in there. Uh, I'll add just one further one. And this one just will be a customer ID. I'll add that. And I'll just put uh, a placeholder in here for the time being. And you can add any uh, any number of custom properties in here that you can utilize in your title block. Uh, it's up to your uh, your requirements. So I just hit apply and close. And now for uh, probably the most uh, tedious part of this is just setting up our uh, our drawing. So what I'm going to do is right click and I'm going to edit the definition. You'll see right away that I get my drawing title block definition. Uh, don't be too, too concerned about how the title, uh, how the text ends up uh, clumping up sometimes. It's, uh, it's not a real concern, just a matter of where you uh, locate the title. Well, I mean, the text block, uh, things enter up pretty quick. So you'll see that I have uh, my title block all set up. What I'm going to do is now just begin by entering in uh, text. So let's just start. Here's our customer ID field. I'm going to uh, just create a text block. And in the type pull down, you'll see that I have a number of selections. And for this, uh, I want my custom properties first. So I'll just use uh, my custom properties, you'll see that it lists all the ones that I have created in my customer, my custom tab. So right away is a customer ID, and all I have to do is come over here and add that text parameter. And select OK, and, and it's entered. So you'll see right away that uh, this isn't a real difficult process. So I'll just go in and uh, customer properties again, and my project number select serial number and you can see that this process uh, doesn't take real long so now what I want to do is get into my my uh, system I properties and uh, I'll start down I'll start with date and the system I properties are going to just be under properties drawing and you'll come under the properties and you'll see that most of your I properties are already included in this single pull down. So I'll get a, let's see, creation date and just insert it. I'll get uh, created by. And this one will be uh, designer. And we can come down and select our engineer. Drawing properties and engineer. And I think lastly, I guess it's uh, checked by. And we'll come down, drawing properties. And we'll say um, check by. And there you have it. That's about as hard as it is. Uh, what we can do, though, you'll see, you'll go back and we'll say finish and we'll save it to the same template. You'll see, you know, maybe it's a little bit out of whack. Um, what we'll do is uh, we'll go in just as easy to go in and edit the definition again. And you can move these around just uh, by eyeballing. Or you can certainly, if you want to be a little more precise, you can... Uh, dimension these to oops, you can dimension these to uh, exact dimensions um, 
So you can continue like that, or like I said, you can go in and just uh, eyeball the location to see if these are coming in uh, about where you want them. I'm an eyeball kind of guy, so I think uh, that's probably going to look uh, pretty good. I'm going to say yes, and uh, that's fine with me. So uh, what I'm going to do is gonna, let's start by creating our form now. So we're just going to go over to our iLogic form, and if you do not have the form up, you're just going to go to your ribbon and the manager manage tab, and under the iLogic panel, you'll see the iLogic browser, and you just click that. So I'm going to come over to the iLogic browser and right click and just select add form. And you'll see that my form editor comes up and uh, and a representative form. So I'm going to come over to my iProperties tab and you'll see that I have my iProperties and I'm going to come down to my custom. And to me right away, uh, I want my most uh, recognizable or important ones up front. So I'll put uh, drawing title, drawing number. <clears throat> project number, serial number, and my customer ID. I can go uh, up above my project and enter in uh, what's important. So I want the designer, engineer, and uh, let's see, check by. And then I'll just come in with the last one, I think is creation date. I can uh, put a real... Uh, name to my form instead of form one I can just put uh, title block info that's uh, I'll suffice for now and just say OK and you'll see that my title block info comes up and here is uh, just a simple block that I'll go through and you can tab through these so my project number for this one is going to move from six point 6-5-987 um, customer uh, for this project uh, I my designer engineer so we can put our uh, engineer's name in there and uh, and check by and the creation date, you come down and select any uh, any date that is uh, required for that one. And right away, you'll see that everything enters and updates. So this is a fast, easy way to enter uh, this uh, your title block information. Uh, you can uh, create rules, iLogic rules, to make sure this information is entered uh, completely at the time of save or uh, any other information that agrees with your custom, your uh, company standards. So I hope this was a uh, help. Um, again, my name is Dave Breiner, and uh, this was iLogic Forms uh, title block information. So thank you, and have a great day.